Hi everybody, it's Jean, and I just wanted to touch base with you and get back and let you know um, who asked for postcards. And I've got um, Allison Cousins and Brave Blue Raven Art and Craft, Lynn Miller Ruiz, Craft Booker Studio, and J. Peppy 01. Those uh, five asked for a postcard, and so I actually have five. So I'm just going to send one to each of you. So um, no drawing, just you can have a postcard. I will be happy to send a postcard. I'm excited somebody wants them. So um, so anyway, yeah. Um, my email will be down in the box below. And uh, just shoot me an email with your address and uh, I'll get those out. Now, um, while I'm here, I'll just show you the two pages I did since I've, I'm just, I'm really, really uh, tickled with these. I used the background from the postcards for this one and uh, I painted this picture and there's kind of a funny story about that little picture. Um, I painted it and the mouth was so wrong and so awful that I thought, well, I think what I'll do, <laughs> I think what I'll do is I will, um, I'll put that up so you can see it. I'll put a veil over her face and make her into like a harem girl. And that way you won't have to look at that mouth. And, uh, so <laughs> the veil did not turn out well. <laughs> It looked awful, and I tried to put like a little bikini top on her, and no, 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 it just didn't work. So I thought, well, I'll just toss this one out. But I, I liked her eyes. So, um, so anyway, suddenly it occurred to me. Oh, sometimes I used to do that in the cold weather. I used to pull a, a turtleneck up over my mouth because I would be cold outside. So anyway, so I did that. So that's that, and uh, the picture there, it doesn't go at all with this picture because those are irises from uh, a family garden. <laughs> and then these, these are, uh, I, I got a pocket letter with a lot of these in it, and these were all the extra pieces that she sent. Um, uh, this was from like two years ago, or more, maybe three years ago. So, um, so I thought that was kind of neat. Gosh, looks kind of dark to me. I don't know whether it's dark on the, for you or not. But anyway, and that's all I've done. Um, I did do this page, these napkins. Uh, somebody sent me a bunch of really pretty napkins. Uh, oh, I'm not prepared. I can't, um. I can't think of her name right, right, just right yet. But she sent me all these beautiful napkins. And uh, so I thought, well, I'm definitely going to use those. And I'm going to use them right away. So I covered these two pages and then um, some other Happy Mail that I got. Uh, I thought I would put on there. I kind of thought... Uh, uh, I got all this happy mail from um, a person in Norway, and, uh, well, you can't hardly see that. That little cup and saucer uh, is so cute. This light is glaring on it. It seems to blend into the background quite a bit because the colors are so similar. So behind, you know, putting it in front of a doily, it looks very cute. Um, hmm. And anyway, she, she sent all this stuff that just really uh, looks nice on this page. So, I don't know. I love, uh, I love all this. So I, I should sit down and just start gluing it. Uh, this is an ATC that was for a swap. So, um, yeah, let me put some of this stuff down and 
glue it down. See, I just really loved this. This was a um, this was her little note. Isn't that pretty? That's like watercolor paper and cherish. And then the note, there was a, a very cute envelope with that with that note. Oh, here it is. And I really like that. So, um, so let's see what I can do with that. Anyway, I'll get my glue out. And I definitely need to glue something sturdy down here because the page is lifting. It got, uh, it got wet. Well, what I need to do is a piece of cardboard um, on the back. But anyway, um, I like this up here. I absolutely love that. So that's going to go on this page. But how fun to get all this, um, to get all this pretty, pretty stuff. And it all came, it all is kind of matchy. You know, it's all the right colors. The the one trouble with let me glue that on over down here. You can't see me gluing it, but the, um, you know, the one trouble for me when I have a pretty pretty background like this, I hate covering it up. <laughs> I really do. And I thought I might want to make a tuck spot, but um, I'm going to leave that one little area open, leave that as a tuck spot, because there are cute things that you can tuck in, like uh, like that little tag. And um, this is kind of really how I want to do it. But I find them a little hard to use that way. I will maybe glue that. There. So anyway, I went to the doctor today and I got a clean bill of health. Happy, happy, happy. I um, uh, had blood work done and, you know, it's just the annual checkup. But I'm always thinking, you know, whenever you get tests done, I'm always thinking that uh, I should probably put that in there. But I think... Um, Oh, no, now I can't do that there and still have that open. Uh, I thought I would, um, this might be the time that they say, oh, well, gosh, we found thus and so, and, um, you know, this is going to change things and all that. You know, I'm always thinking like that. Oh, that's cute. Um, so, uh, I went and I was just really, uh, on the edge of my seat. And the first thing they did is I went into a different room than I normally go into. And they had a big pile of books about diabetes. So I thought, oh, well, this is it. They've discovered it. And, um, now I'm going to have to be good. But, uh, nope, nope, I was perfectly fine. All the tests were good. All the blood work, they tested for cholesterol and livers and all, all the insides and everything they do with blood work. They did two or three different workups and, and uh, yep, now I'm going to be around for a while. So that's kind of, uh, that was kind of good news for me. I was 
Mighty Relieved. There. Oh, that's pretty up there. I like that up there. I just, I just want to keep these and I want to look at them and enjoy them. And oh, that is so pretty. And this came from, um, from my Facebook group friend, Linda Hansen in, uh, in Norway. So, oh, I think this is how this goes. I think this goes this way. And you know what? I need to take one of these and wipe it off because I've gotten glue on it. And I just don't want that glue to stick to it. Okay. So, where... Shall we put this under that? Under that and then family. Because that is very pretty. You know what? I think, um, I bet she put that glitter on some of those letters. There, that could, that could be a little tuck spot. I like that tuck spot a little bit better. Now, what to do, what to do? I've got, um, ooh, I've got some more. You know what, I want to put a little um, something in the middle there. But there's extra pieces here which can tuck in here. I like these because they're musical. And I can save them. Maybe. Can't find that. There we go. Once I get one in, I can get the other one in. Oh, and you know what else? Um, you know what else she sent? She sent uh, this little poo page book in um, in a different language, in Norwegian. That's cute. And this page. Isn't that adorable? But I have no idea what the poems are. I thought maybe this was Baba ba Black Sheep, but I don't think so. This is a sheep falling into a spider web. But you know what? I can look that up. And uh, a dictionary page in Norwegian. And that, and then also she, this is, this is how it came in this envelope. Isn't that just so pretty? I love how she painted the envelope. Now that's just plain on the back, but this um, this is so pretty. I just I just love it. And but I it's too too big. It will take up too much room. Although I I thought about cutting it in half. Half would be nice because then you can still see the page and um, could cover up that. But there, I'll put the butterfly kisses on there.
that side is um, much prettier with this page. And there. And I'll just glue the three sides. So anyway, I was happy as a clam and and I am healthy and I decided not to make the move. I decided I'm not going to rent my house and move up permanently to Ohio. I'm going to go for the summer like I normally do. And uh, there, that would be, that's very cute. Perfect. Oh, that's the trouble with, I'm telling you, it's hard to cover up these beautiful napkins, but it sure makes it a lot easier when you cut it up with beautiful, when you use beautiful um, envelopes to do it with. And that's hand painted, that envelope and stamped. So I like that. And then my little swap thing. Uh, Linda, I wonder if you are a, um, a subscriber or if you watch my videos I'll have to send you a link Ooh. so so I don't know anyway that's what I feel like doing right here I'm gonna put um, one of these, uh, I'm going to put this book page in there because I want to save this book page as is. I'm not sure I want to cut it up. So I'll put the book page in there and I think there was a couple other little things. Oh, that's cute. There. Oh, no, I don't want to cover up the F for family. Ooh, this is just, oh, I like having her note there. I could put that inside. It's always nice to have something pretty inside. And cologne is perfect. It's a, it's a perfect, um, no, isn't that pretty? But you know what? I don't think that came with her. I think I used that in one of those postcards. I should make that into a little tag. And let me put some edging on it. My hole punch is going to be too big of a hole, probably. But there. There. I like that. Okay, then I can save that. And that's tucked in. This is pretty. The Our Family. Well, I might uh, do something with our family, so I'm going to put that in here to save that. I want to save this. This doesn't go with it. This went with, um, with a, uh, uh, gosh, I wonder if that'll go on an orange page that I had back here. Did I have an orange page? Yeah. A little shiny. 
but maybe if I um, no 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 oh I just have so much I can do in this book there I'll leave it there for now now that's between us where that's hidden and when I forget I'm going to ask you guys where was that little piece this This, I want to put an embellishment in the middle there. Let me look in here and see if there's something. It's flat. Ah, so flat I can't get it out. There. I could put that on there. See, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm using up my embellishments. I use a gold, and it looks, oh, it's a crown. I was going to say, it looks like a bee. <laughs> a bee for beanie. I think I like the flower better. Or I could put a um, earring. Nope, don't like that. Put a big button. Too bulky. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Oh, a butterfly doesn't quite stand out as much as the flower. Okay, I picked out the flower first, and the flower it is. Oh, put this stuff back in. Okay. And I keep this one. This used to be a skewer. And I keep it to dip in my glue. Let's see how that will work. And I hardly ever clean that glue off of there. That's the trick, is to find things. Now, you know what? I'm going to use up these three little... Oh, is that making you crazy like it's making me because it's crooked? Okay, I'm going to have to have some help here. I can take it being a little crooked, but not as much as I had it. Goodness. Why is that so hard? Okay, there. That kind of looks interesting. And those are used up now. Uh, I can count this as one of my hundred things <laughs> tonight, uh, working with this and this and this. We'll do the count these as one of the hundred. I have, I painted a picture the other night, and that's going to be my, that was my first hundred. 
this will have to this will have to wait until I'm um, till it's dry. Let me get that right in the middle. That would help. Okay, and I'm all done. I'm all done for tonight. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye.